What is up fellow gamers, it is Gatorade here, and today I'm back with another Minecraft video. Uh, today we're going to be working on my Golden Gate Bridge a bit. You see how I have the cables here? I want to get the cables started from this tower to the one that's all the way over there. If you don't believe me, you can look at the map. I have a map set up on this pole over here. Okay, we are here, meaning that that's that tower and that's the first tower with the arch and the rest of the highway we want to put the cables along that gap and then this is actually part of the new highway section that's going to spin off and go this way the only thing that I see there being a problem with it is it's a bit wide or it's a bit it's a bit of a sharp angle, so I might pull it back some and use this whole distance instead of just that to make it like I want it to be. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with that yet. I know this has to go up to there, though. That's not in this video. That is for another video. This video, though, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to try to get this cable laid out so we can see what we need to do. So it's roughly 300 blocks from here to the middle. The middle is laid out. It's on the ground, though, so I have to build it in the air so that I have it. And we're going to want to build that whole section so that it's ready to go. Mostly so I just know where I'm building at, but still. The middle is that thing you see off in the distance. I just wanted this bridge to be realistic, so that's how we got such a big span. Wasn't wasn't anticipating the tower to be so tall. But, I'm glad it is, because it looks really realistic. It's like if you agree, because it is amazing. And I did a video on it. Honestly, I did do a video on how to build a tower, but it got deleted. So I might have to do that in another video. Like, I have to re-record it. If you guys are interested in seeing that, please leave a comment in the section below. Because, if not, I might not do one. It took three hours to do. It's only about an hour of actual video. Okay, so this is... This is right here. Say so you want to build out... couple more we'll go to here and we'll see where it's at so okay that's that So I think this is four from here to that. And then from here down it's seven. And then it's five. Because that would be the sidewalk barrier, that would be the sidewalk, that would be the road, that would be the layer under it. 
and then that would be the layer that kind of connects all the beams together. And then this is the last bit of beam right here. And then I'm going to place this so that it's done right. Build this up to this point. That's where it should connect. We'll double check in a minute. So this is ready to go. Now I just want to add the middle section of the cables. So since we are unsure of how far that would go, we gotta pretty much build this all the way across and place all the cable connectors so that I know where to go with it. close to this tower now. It's crazy to think that this will all be water under me sometime soon. I mean, that's going to be a lot of water. close to the tower now. We're about to connect it up to it. Yep. So now you gotta place all these out. Probably isn't gonna be the most exciting thing, but it'll help you when you actually go to build the cables. They're all spaced out seven blocks, so this will probably take a little bit. because we gotta build them down, but then they also have to curve slightly less as they get towards the middle, which might be a problem because it's such a huge distance to span. The next bridge that I'm building, it's gonna be double deck, isn't gonna have as much of an issue because it has four towers, but I only want it to span as far as this bridge, so that probably won't be as much as an issue. There'll be more towers to, you know, put in between it all. So we'll do one side first, like from one tower to the middle, and then we'll do the other part from the middle back to the other tower. That's what I did with my Manhattan Bridge and my Brooklyn Bridge. It's a bit easier.
We're getting close to the middle now, so this will be over in just a second. You can actually see the cable get built. Now there may be some back and forth on a uh, actual building it, but I'm gonna measure out some of these so that I know how many I can do a certain thing on. Those all look even. We'll find out when we get up here. Yep, okay, so we did all that perfectly. So, from this to this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 43 roughly. Because on this side, there's one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. There's twenty-two. So you double that, you get forty-four. So that's actually pretty darn close to what you would do as far as doubling. But we don't want to double anything. We want to actually half a lot of it. So you see how these, that goes up. That's one segment, that's two, that's three, and that's four. That goes up and that's where it changes from two down to one single one down. So what we're going to do is we're going to half that to two. So at least this section and this section, because that is a section technically. We'll do it from there to there. So let's get this cable out and ready. That would be here. These first two you want to have and then the next two you want to extend. Go up to about here. That looks about right. And then you want to start all the way up here. Right here. Just like on this side. Just double check. Okay, yeah, that's how it's done. And you just keep doing this until you have connection points that work. Now the bottom part, down there at the bottom, which we'll work on after we get this connected to this cable that I just put out, that's supposed to be really like long, like shallow and long There's that. That doesn't look correct yet, but we'll see how it looks in a minute when I get some of this set up. So from here, you're going to want to make a really long segment of this. This is going to extend out too. And it's gonna sit right there, the very bottom of it, like as far down as you can go with this. 
and then it's going to lift up and it's going to do eight a couple of times So we'll do four times for now. If we need to do more later, we will. You want to get that good arch started or that curve to it. might have to do more than that because we still have that takes out one two three four five whereas on this side we did we did none of those actually actually yeah we did we did three so I would actually do six we'll do six All right, let's do six of them to see how far we can get. I already had five out. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do six. There's six right there. And then this would be eight for the next part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if this is where the next one comes to, going up four each time instead of eight, I don't think we'd have an issue. I just think it would look a bit odd. So what I might actually do is do a couple of these instead of this. I know, I just put all these in, but watch. Do at least one or two like this. Double the length of those. And then place those at one two, three, four, five, and then six would be right about here. There we go, that's looking more like an arch. Now I know that's a pretty far distance to stretch this, but we have to do it that way. Otherwise it won't work. So let's get this side built a little bit. So we can get an idea of how the middle is going to look. This is where this would come out to. so then this would come above that.
Okay, so we got that laid now. I think that's looking pretty good. From here, you're going to work towards the towers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, it'd actually be back here now. Where they would connect. The only thing that'd be a problem with these is with them connecting at such a high point that it might not work like you need it to. But we'll work with it anyways. So we'll do these up until that point on the other one. Make sure you do them all right. So that's where that would sit at currently. So the next one would cover one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, because this would come up to here with these ones, because these ones go down too fast, these first two, so you gotta shrink them so that it doesn't go down too fast on you. Like this, because then it's just gonna do this. So that it can start to shallow out a bit. And then you'll want to do this the rest of the way. If it doesn't line up, then that means you got to either make more. Whichever one looks the most out of place, I would add more of. So for instance, if these look out of place, I would probably add more 4s. But if the 8s look out of place, I'd probably add more uh, 16 long ones. Honestly, this is a pretty far distance to cover, but if we're lucky, it may just connect. If not, then well, can't do nothing about that. <laughs> so it's a pretty far distance. The only thing about making bridges with really long distances between the towers is that you can end up making it difficult to actually build a cable in between. Like right now this looks okay, but I want to get the cable connected on both sides so I can see what it's going to look like. Like with my Manhattan bridge, I had to change the cable at least three or four times until I got it right. And once you got one cable, you can place all the cables the same basically. There's really no difference in any of them or deviation in any of them. Oh yeah, we're going to run into a problem here. This is at... ...104. And this is at 98. So I got six more blocks to drop. One... ...two... ...three... ...four... 
five, six. I've got a whole span that I gotta fix. That span is one, two, three. Hmm, I could probably fix that real easily then. I know this is probably gonna mess up everything, but let's try adding an extra layer of this. We still wanna do six of those, so. See how that looks now. Boy, like I said, these cables are a bit difficult to construct. You're gonna have to work around everything. Let's actually stop this one right here. Wherever this is at. Alright, that's there. We'll do this like this. Four. Six. Eight, twelve, or ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Then you would do this, and this will work right here. Alright, so we just did everything like how we had it, we just moved up a, lit a bit. That's sort of how it would look. Now if we do the same thing on the other side, just to make sure it's connected like it's supposed to be, because easily I could move the singles forward two more to connect it at a sharper angle. Okay, so that's one side that we've experimented with. Now, we got this side, so we want to double that original size. So you want to go from here to here.
Okay, so I'm not dragging this video out too long. I'm gonna leave it here. This is how I'm gonna do the cable on each side of it. 